Hey everyone, it's Meyer. Thanks for joining me. Today we are going to be cooking chicken drumsticks in the Breville, but this time we're going to do it with Kentucky Colonel seasoned flour. We have done it with breadcrumbs and we have done chicken wings with the Kentucky Colonel, but we haven't done it this way. And you cannot cook nine drumsticks in the air fryer. So let's see how this turns out. Let's get to it. <laughs> So I already rinsed off the chicken and I took a knife and I basically cut a hole through the meatiest part of the chicken. And the reason for that is so it cooks more evenly. All right, first things first, let's get some eggs ready. Anytime I bread or flour or anything, I use eggs. Even though we're using Kentucky Colonel, I'm gonna add some of my pink Himalayan salt and some of my peppercorn pepper. Why not, right? Also, I'm going to add some onion powder. It might look like a lot, but don't worry about it. And instead of the fork, I'm gonna use a whisk. All right, get my uh, glass Pyrex ready here. And that's my favorite method to get the Kentucky kernel all over the chicken. Every time I breathe this in, I want to sneeze. We're going to at least put two coats of Kentucky kernel on this. And as I've said in the past, what ends up happening is as the Kentucky kernel absorbs that moisture, it kind of turns a the chicken turns a yellowish color. So it'll start out the Kentucky so the Kentucky kernel will start out bright white on the chicken and then it'll go down to a dull-ish yellow. So after between each coats we are going to let it sit five minutes and then recoat it again with the Kentucky kernel flour. Again it may look like a lot of flour but we got nine pieces of chicken we get a coat at least twice. Nice. And we're just going to repeat it for the rest here. All right. As you can see that this is already starting to turn. So I'm going to give it a few minutes, five minutes at the most, and we're going to recoat this. Okay, we're ready to go again. Going to add a little more Kentucky Colonel. You can see how these pieces look now. Almost looks like they weren't dipped. <laughs> I just made a mess. See what the difference is? Now Crystal from My Gadget Kitchen, she has a, a device and she got it from someone else whose name is, is escaping me and I'll post that in the link. But it's basically two bowls and in between there's like a a piece of plastic with holes so you don't have to do what I did and I would love to get one of those unfortunately space is really tight right now in the kitchen and for me to get something like that would just add something extra and this doesn't do too bad of a job so I'm happy with that look at the difference the most I've ever put on uh, chicken wings is four coats uh, I'd like to get at least three coats on here and we'll see how it looks after that All right, we're gonna give this another five minutes and we'll be back. Okay, let's get going with one more coat. So this will be coat number three. And here you can see the difference between those two. Okay, the next step is important. We need to set this in the refrigerator for ideally a half an hour. And the reason for that is if we just throw this in with a convection type oven, that air is gonna stir all the flour off of this it's just gonna blow around so by putting it in the fridge it's gonna allow it to set and since I use this Evo spray uh, the air behind that tends to blow the flour off of it as well so we'll be back in about a half an hour okay we're ready to get the Breville heated up here we're gonna turn it to the air fryer setting 425 for 37 minutes is the default from last time we're going to turn this down to about 30 minutes. Uh, the air fryer usually can cook this to 25 to 35 minutes, depending for three to six pieces. The oven's 50 minutes to an hour easy. Uh, 
but we're going to leave it at that. Super confection is off and the frozen setting is off. So let's start preheating that. One of the real positive things about the Breville is that it preheats fast. I mean, my oven wouldn't even register a temperature yet by the time that thing preheats. So we're going to start to prep this. And basically, we're just going to spray the top of the chicken. And I am going to actually just spray the pan a little bit. And when I put the chicken in, I'm going to flip it upside down from the wet side because this is the uh, Gotham crisper tray has vents on the bottom. I want to make sure the bottom of the chicken stays wet as well. I turned them all the wrong way, wouldn't you know? That was kind of embarrassing. I forgot what I was doing. I flipped some and not others. But now we have it so they're all oiled on both sides. And we'll just wait for the oven to beep that it's preheated. Okay, the Breville is preheated. Let's get this going. Okay, let's come back in 15 minutes and see how we're doing. Unfortunately, I got a phone call and this stayed in there five minutes too long. So let's take this out and take a look. All righty. So let's turn this chicken. Actually, let's spray this down. Let's sit this here for a second don't have my good tongs here. Okay, let's spray these again. Let's get this back in the oven. Okay, we're gonna let this go the eight minutes it shows and we'll give it another check and do a temperature check on the food itself. While I normally don't show sides, I have some broccoli going and I do some corn as well. Add about a quarter cup of water. salt on there. Yes, I'm doing it now instead of vinegar. A little bit of pepper. Yes, I'm cheating with the microwave. Yeah, cover it up with a towel. We're going to go for about three minutes, stir it, and then another three minutes, and when that's done, I'll drain the water and add butter. Okay, it's three minutes. Give this a quick stir. Go another three minutes. Okay, this makes a half an hour. Let's check it out and check the temperature. It's just about there, temperature wise, we just need it to crisp up a little bit. Okay. Let's get some butter in there. Got to drain the water. Wasn't much left in there. I'm gonna let that melt up. Make it a little salt, a little more salt. All right, that's good. Put that aside. Okay, let's check this out. I'm gonna stick one of the plumpest pieces here. And that is done. Let's get this out of here. All right, we're going to need to let this set a few minutes before we uh, start tasting it. Okay, this should be cool enough. Which one am I going to take? I want to take this one here. While I'm at it, can't hurt to take some corn. Let's test this out. I'm going to try some of the corn first since it's probably gonna be cool a little bit. Three corn. That's good. Microwave, but good. Hot. Mm. That crust is crispy. Can you see that? Man, is that moist inside. I don't know if that camera could show that off. It was excellent. So, Breville. 
It takes a little longer to cook, a little bit higher temperature. Excellent chicken. The air fryer is awesome, don't get me wrong, but it can't cook more than maybe three pieces of chicken and some potatoes in there or fries or whatever. This thing, I can get nine drumsticks in there or I can get six drumsticks and some fries or whatever. So, this is a success. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing and when you subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you'll know when I put up a new video and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. That is what this is all about. Entire up. Come pick your piece of chicken you want. <laughs> Come get your piece of chicken you want. Which one? They're super crispy. This one? Okay, you want some corn too? What do you mean no? You gotta get some corn. <laughs> you love corn. He's being dramatic for the camera.